You know, mercury is another one of those damaging things that's everywhere. With all the coal fire power plants, it's another thing that's just soaking into the air and, and completely being infested in all of our foods, all of our produce, and especially with the dental amalgams. I mean, there's been, you know, fights against that for a long period of time. And like I was saying earlier, whenever you mix all these metals together, nobody can tell you what the side effects of the damage is. It's like what we were talking about when you take one prescription medication. By the way, metals are in medications as well. You take one prescription medication. You take two prescription medications. No one can really tell you the side effects of what's going to happen when both of those combine. Right. And you add three, four, five five, six, seven, eight prescription medications, and then you just have a whole disarray of what's going on inside the body. And we're about to go to break, but real quick, what about the vaccine ma manufacturers lied about, they said that we were taking thimerosal out of the vaccines, but they didn't. They're still in there, real quick. Well, they just reduced the amount that they would have to state on the labels so it wouldn't be... Uh, they didn't have to disclose it. I think it was down to like 0.25 micrograms or something. All right, but it's still in there, folks. Stay still with us there. here on the Alex Jones Show. We'll be right back after this break with more from Ed Group. Stay with us. Back to you, Ed. What about BPA? You know, hey, there's a lot of guys out there that are getting male breasts now because of BPA. There's a lot of women with infertility problems. I'm not trying to make light of it. It's a serious issue, and it's it's making us less human. I mean, it's it's transforming us into mutants well bpa was uh basically used for estrogen replacement in the 1930s and interesting enough my dad was one of the ones that uh worked on different types of plastics and was a co-developer of pvc and and uh different types of polycarbonates so uh and he came out with a study saying it was cancer causing and then mysteriously a couple weeks after that he was you know dead of the real answer. Yep, that's what happened to my dad. He was a chemist, one of the chief chemists for Exxon. So um, he was the one that was involved in a lot of plastics. That's what I'm saying. It's funny you mentioned BPA because I've been trying to study his reports and I saw, you know, all the effects he was starting to come out with later on in his life saying the damaging effects of these things. Uh -huh. And when he uh, submitted a study saying that it could cause cancer, then uh, mysteriously he was dead two weeks wow. later. Wow, so your dad was really involved in, in pioneering some of the plastics technology, and now you are spearheading the removal of plastics and heavy metals from people's bodies. Exactly. That's, that's that's a, it's, it's weird how things like look a, like that. It's like a superhero <laughs> episode. Isn't there a Spider-Man metaphor in here somewhere? You're like, yeah, but bisphenol is incredibly toxic. I mean, you know, when you combine all the toxins that people put in their body, I've been saying this for years, it's a combination and an accumulation of toxins that come in from the foods that we eat, from the beverages that we drink, from the vaccines, from the pharmaceuticals, from the stress levels that you're under, that your body creates its own toxins. I mean, it's very simple when you understand that the accumulation of too many toxins coming in the body and not enough coming out of the body is the main cause of disease and what we're fighting with today. So by cleansing the body, getting all that stuff out, changing your diet, you know, moving to eliminating those toxins on a regular basis, that's going back to increasing and activating your body's own self-healing mechanism, which we talk about. We have the power to heal ourselves within. We just need to activate it. And the reason why we can is because we're overloaded with too many toxins and chemicals coming in. Well, speaking of overload with toxic chemicals, the FDA has just approved a new drug that helps to eliminate the toxicity of chemotherapy. So, so just to get this straight, the FDA says that prolonged exposure to chemotherapy treatments can cause kidney and liver damage, skin rashes, severe mouth sores, damage to the lining of the intestines, and death because of low blood counts. And now they've approved another drug to remove the toxicity of the first chemotherapy drug that's killing you. Can you believe this? Mm, I, I can believe that, yes, because, I mean... It's called Vorox Voroxane. I've never heard of it, but I mean, we all know that chemotherapy is extremely damaging. I mean, they have the complete opposite uh, way to treat disease. I mean, that's how far we've gone down in learning about the body. Instead of addressing the root cause of the problem, our main focus is address the symptoms of the problem. So okay. now they're addressing so, the symptoms of that. All right. Stay with us here, folks, on the Alex Jones Show. More on the other side of this break with Ed Group, plus your calls straight ahead. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Mike Adams, the health ranger, filling in for Alex today. But Alex is going to make an appearance, or at least via video. He's just been filming a special segment that's going to air in just a few minutes, in about eight minutes. In fact, 
But between now and then, we're going to be taking calls for Dr. Ed Group, the founder of Global Healing Center. That's that's the right domain name, isn't it? Yes. GlobalHealingCenter.com, specializing in detox. He's just given us a wealth of information on aluminum detoxification. Let's go to our callers right now. Tara in Virginia, you are on the air. Go ahead. Oh, hi. Hi, Mike. Um, I, I enjoy your uh, uh, the, the, your website. I'm sorry for stuttering. This is the first time I've been on. Um, Dr. Group, I have two small children, um, preschoolers. Uh, one's a three and one is four. And um, I've been on this awakening journey since about August because of thinking about Fukushima and why isn't EPA telling us about all of the dangers from it. Um, yeah, do you have, do you have, do? Go, yeah, go ahead, Tara, with your question. Uh, I, my question is, what do I do um, to try and detox my kids? My older, my little boy is starting to exhibit some emotional, um, he's not, he's just, he's very, very swings one way to the other on emotions. He's it's kind of uncontrolled. And it's not the way that he has always been. It's just sort okay, of... So Wild. And I and I think it's I think it's because of the stuff. I mean, I've done everything I can do to keep him because they he, they had glass baby bottles, no BPA. Well, uh, good for you. Oh, let's go ahead. Go ahead. Answer yeah. the question. Well, thanks. The thanks for the call, Tara. That's a good question because with a lot of children, uh, when you're looking at detoxification methods, uh, some of them aren't really recognized as safe or you don't know the proper amount of herbs to give children a lot of times but what i've found works the best for children and is extremely safe for children is i use an oxygen-based intestinal cleanser which actually releases uh, monatomic oxygen into their bowel which is completely safe and i also am a big fan of the detoxified nascent atomic iodine there's a few manufacturers out there that produce that and that will also help detoxify a lot of the metals and a lot of the chemicals from their system in a safe way there's also formulas that combine the herbs, cilantro, corella, cell wall fractionated blue-green algae, zeolites together that are completely safe to use with children. Um, and that's one of the things we've specialized in is, and we have calls every single day from mothers just like yourself that really want to help children. And not only uh, if you're seeing, not, it's globalhealingcenter.com, but not only are you, do you, if, because your children are suffering from symptoms, but even children these days that aren't suffering sim from symptoms should still be doing detoxification. All right, regimens. great question. Great answer, Ed. Sorry to interrupt. Let's go to Chris in California. We, don't, we only have time probably for your call. Chris, you're on the air with Mike Adams and Ed Group. Go ahead, please. Uh, hello, gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to uh, talk about the uh, chemtrail spring and the nanoaluminum particles that are uh, filling our skies. I live out here in California, and where I live, it's usually very cold at this time of year, but the last few, uh, few, few weeks, it's been about 70 degrees in the afternoon, where it's normally maybe 50, and it gets down to as cold as 20 degrees at night. And what I've noticed was ever since they started, I, I been following this stuff about the chemtrails since about 2000, and every day when they uh, do the chemtrail spraying. Right, you have a question for Adam? Sorry to rush. You got a question? Yes, and I was just wondering uh, how how much are the chemtrails uh, 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 contributing to the increase of aluminum in the uh, soil and okay. the water? Okay, great. Thank, thanks for the call. Extremely amount. It, uh, the amount of chemtrails and aluminum in the air from 2006 to now is 50,000 times the amount that they that they were spraying so you're looking at 20 million tons of aluminum nanoparticles it just keeps getting worse and worse and and all across the united states and all over the world you're seeing an increase fifty thousand time increase in just a few years all right that was dr edward group i want to thank you for joining me in the studio today ed great to have you on thanks for having me on anytime mike yeah, and, and folks, if you want Ed back, you know, send an email to InfoWars. I, I love this guy. He's got a ton of knowledge.